So for the body, we could add another shape or we could just start doing this, which is if we go to, um, not inflate, we'll use a clay build up and we'll just bring the clay out of the back. Now, as you can see there, I'm using a cube and you can use all kinds of different shapes. You can, you can literally define the shape, which we're gonna do as we start learning. It doesn't actually matter at the moment. Which, which one that we use. So because we're going to 3D print, we, we, having all of the pieces you know, together as one mesh would not be a bad thing. So if I want to now increase the, the, the amount of the, the scale or, or, or inflate this part of the geometry now, the inflate tool is the one that does it. And I can adjust the strength a little bit so it'll do it a lot quicker and I can adjust the brush size as well. And you can see there now it's building up with some sort of speed. Once I've got a bit of geometry to play with, I'll just smooth that down a little bit at the back. And then I'm going to use the move tool again. So let's think about the shape of the beetle. So we'll use this reference here now for the for the back a little bit. So we'll just come... The, these things at the back are the wing cases, believe it or not. So beetles have wing cases. Um, across their back you know that they're, they're basically what open up to allow them to fly off and a lot of people don't know that beetles are are winged they think they've just got shells but if you think about something like a ladybird that's a beetle and um, so it's quite obvious that most beetles are going to have that kind of body body assembly so we'll give them a bit more shape underneath and keep smoothing it down so pull it down smooth it down and now we want these bits to meet here so the inflate tool again would be almost certainly the best way of closing this this gap down a little bit here like that so inflate it and smooth it again don't worry about the um, detail we're going to add all that back in later uh, and at the minute when we voxelize or, or voxel remesh or or do any of this smoothing it's destroying a lot of it all the time and I'm really not bothered because all I'm trying to get is the shape. I'm just trying to establish the the overall shape of the of the creature, and then we can move into that kind of that detailing. So let's do some sculpting now on the bottom. So we'll use um, clay build up again, and this time we will change the shape. So so we'll go. We'll use this one this time. So this is like a um, a little. Uh, tube shape and we'll put some detailing along here and you can see how it's actually a capsule shape not a tube shape so you can see how it just gives you a bit more of an interesting organic shape than the the, the cube was giving us so it's you know it can be much more um, it can give you what you want um, in much more definition um, than, than a, a, a shape like a cube so I'm just building up around the edge. Now, don't forget the the wing cases um, would have a gap in the middle. So we're going to leave something down the middle there. So I'm going to put some interest on the surface here. So some of the, the kind of ribbon. And we're going to smooth that down, make the brush a bit bigger. I want to smooth it all down, but I want to take back. I don't. I didn't want it quite as heavy handed as that, but it's given me some nice shape in there. You can see now we've got some nice shape. So what I, what I wouldn't mind doing is try working with a different material on this. So it's nice, a nice shiny um, material. Now for the 3D printing, that's not going to matter. Um, but for while we're working, it would be nice to see something different. So if we go context menu again, and we just stay at the top this time. So we've got sculpt, object, context menu, and we've got materials here now. So if I just scroll down, and I want something that's like quite shiny but red, so or reddish, should I say? So maybe something like what's this look like? This is a fabric. So if you can have a look at that material, it gives you um, a surface as well, which we probably don't want. So it might be that we have to just go with something like a mat cap, not that one. I'll find one eventually. Um, let's have a look at this one. No, too shiny. What about that one? Matte cap basic, matte cap red, which we don't want. That's a very very similar to what we'd get in something like ZBrush. So what's this? Concrete spots. No. 
there we go what's that one concrete smooth so that that one looks quite nice so that's given me the kind of thing that i want so what about some color so i could flood it so paint bucket so if you literally click on the paint bucket you can flood with any color that you've got selected or you can go paint and literally paint the colors on so obviously black isn't what we're going to want so let's select our colors so we open up the panel at the side and you can see all the different colors so we'll pick a nice deep burgundy so we'll go start with the reds down here and go darker and then we'll flood that and see what it looks like and that's not quite light enough so a bit lighter what does that look like is that any lighter yes yeah, so that's not too bad quite like that so now we'll go back now we've got it's it's a bit darker uh, you know it's darker than we we probably would want but it's really showing it in a different light now so let's go back and do some shaping so i think we'll do a big brush and i think we'll move oh no i'll tell you what we I quite like the head actually what i think i'll do instead of that is i think i'll move the body smaller rather than trying to uh, increase the size of the head and that's that instantly helped me as i did that then it looked uh, i mean doing these large moves helps you really establish the shape so again as much as i have done some detailing it's only help it's only helping me to establish the form what i'm trying to do is to get the outline and the form right so that we can then move on to you know we want to add the limbs on next and then we'll go a little bit you know a little bit more detailed now what i might do is because I've done some colouring already, I might just change the colour of, say, the carapace, so the, so the back, so that we can see it in a, in a different light. So I'll go back to our paint and then open that up and we'll paint that. Well, I like quite like the orange one that we've got there on the uh, this one here on the reference. I'm quite liking that. So I think what I'll do is I'll paint with that colour for a while. So I'll just bring it on the back. And because we've got a really dark metallic looking material, then it's going to be reflected in the, you know, it's it's not going to be as bright as, you know, you can you can prove it by changing the material. So if you go to something like, um, let's find something else just to prove it. We'll go up here now and you can see these. Um, actually, it's overwriting the colour, so it's not helping us. So if you were to do it on this one, and change it to the orange color so once we've got that established make it a bit more vibrant like so and that looks absolutely fine and then we'll go back to black for the front end and we'll have some night no, did too much then so back to black for the front like so and that's given us an idea of how we're going to look once we once we get towards the end of this so that's looking quite nice maybe we'll go a little bit lighter and we'll go opacity quite light and then we'll just we'll just put some white lines on it because of the material it won't be like super light but it will lighten it up a little bit maybe up here and the opacity a bit brighter there we go see now it, as much as we're asking for white what it's doing is it's taking us back to the um to what the base material looks like so i'm not overly keen on that so with the flick of my thumb i think i'll take that back and i'll go back to where i was okay so let's just do go back to our move tool and we'll just bring this brush size up we'll just bring this round a bit now so again i'm looking for the shape now i'm still looking to to, to really establish this the line of the head i'm quite happy with the front end that's looking good and um, quite happy with the underneath and now i think i think i can quite happily start thinking about the legs so let's just bring that in a bit there out a bit here there we go and that really is the body almost done, to be honest with you. So now what we need to do is think about the legs. So we need to add more objects now.